Hey guys, Coach Katie here with Coach Josh. We're gonna show you this week's Simple and Sinister. So there's six stations, uh, one exercise at each, 25 seconds of work, 15 seconds to rotate. You'll have 40 seconds in between rounds to get your water and recover, and we're gonna go five rounds. You ready, Josh? I'm ready. On the ropes, you're gonna do rope slam, burpees. So you're gonna slam that rope, and then burpees. So each slam gets one burpee. Rope slam as hard as you can, kick back for that burpee. If you need to, you can do that rope slam and a step back where you take one foot back at a time. Make sure you take those feet wide when you come back out of that burpee. Or you'll do a rope slam and a squat into that slam. Okay, 25 seconds there. Station number two is over here with the landline. We're gonna do those bus drivers. So leaning forward here, straight arms down to your hip. Use that hip and core to power that bar back up. Pause at the top. Back down to your side, and notice here Josh is pivoting on his foot so that he gets this full rotation through his core. The core is tight and engaged, keeps those arms straight. If you're noticing you're having to bend your arms a lot, the bar is too heavy, so just take some weight off, okay? Bus driver's here, station number three. You're gonna bear crawl with that plate push. So, for every time you bring your arm up, think about pushing the plate over in front of the other hand. So kind of pushing it diagonal, you're still going opposite arm and leg here, so take your time to really cue up here. Every time you step forward, you're pushing that plate. We'll have different size plates out. If you want, you could just go with the bear curl if you're just working on the coordination of your bear curl. You'll go down to the beam, you'll turn around and you'll go back as far as you get 25 seconds. Station number four, you're gonna do a reverse lunge and then you're gonna do a switch with that kettlebell. So, you're gonna reverse lunge, and you're always gonna take that kettlebell through the middle. So here he's holding it in his right hand, steps back with the right leg, passes it through. Now it's in the left hand, steps back with the left leg. So just think, step back with the leg of the hand holding the kettlebell, and you put it through the middle, okay? Your other option would just be to hold that kettlebell up top, and just do reverse lunges if the coordination of the switch is a little frustrating. Station number five is on the dumbbells, and you are going to do a power curl to press. So, use those hips, power curl those dumbbells up, and then press, okay? Hip hinge, power curl, two press. Make sure your core is nice and tight and engaged on the press, okay? Power curl, press it up. If for any reason you need to rest, rest with those dumbbells at your shoulders, and then press, okay? So it's a power curl, and a press each time. And then your last station here is gonna be in this strip of the blue floor. You're gonna do four push-ups and four jump squats. So with your push-ups, you can go from your toes, see how low Josh gets his chest to the floor, very good. Or go down from your toes and up from your knees. Okay, again, down from the toes, lower your knees, push up from your knees, or maybe you're gonna work from your knees so you get that chest nice and low. Get four push-ups in, come up right away, get four jump squats, explode out of that squat here, using those arms, so swing them back, and then swing them up. If you need to take the jump out, just do four air squats. Drive up, squeeze those glutes, and then you're back down for four more push-ups. Okay, looks like a good one, you guys. Nice job, Josh.